What's up, Wayne Baron? Here with darkfakes.net, and we are inside of Adobe After Effects. And I've uh, been getting a lot of questions on one of my previous videos for the Adobe Media Encoder and also for Adobe After Effects' render queue about uh, rendering out in H.264. If you come over here and you go Composition, you add to Render Queue. Come over here to Lossless, click on it, and then we come down and we choose QuickTime. We choose Format Options. We are not given the option of an H.264. And so what is wrong here is that you need to install QuickTime. Now, whenever we first launch Adobe After Effects, let's go ahead and exit out of After Effects. Don't save. And let's uh, go ahead and relaunch it again. As you can see, whenever it very first loads, it says QuickTime is not installed on this system. Some components will not work correctly. Now, if you continue to get this error or you chose never again, that's really a bad mistake because Adobe After Effects was really designed to work with QuickTime. So you actually need to install QuickTime on your system in order for uh, After Effects to work the way it was intended to work. So what you do is that you come over to apple.com slash quicktime slash download. You don't have to put in your email address. You don't have to check that box. Just so click on download and it will start to download in just a second. Okay. So once it's downloaded, just simply open it up and run through the installation process. Leave everything default, click on next, install desktop, automatically update. I do not like to do that. Click install. Okay, we are done. Let's go ahead and click on finish and choose no thanks. Now, whenever we come over here and we launch Adobe After Effects, let's go ahead and choose that. And now I come over here to Composition and go down to Add to Render Queue, choose Lossless. Come over here to AVI, come down to QuickTime, choose Format Options. And now you're given all these options from QuickTime. So we got the H.264 sitting right here. So you have to have QuickTime installed in order to gain all these options from the QuickTime component. Okay, but there is a better way to render out your videos, and that's simply to choose here and add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. Adobe Media Encoder automatically comes with an H.264 setting, so you do not have to have QuickTime installed in order to get the H.264 inside of the Adobe Media Encoder. It automatically comes default. However, you are given some more options after you install the QuickTime components or after you install QuickTime, it gives you some more options to choose from. So, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net. Hopefully, this will clear up any issues that y'all had on whenever you come here and to choose your H.264 settings if you do not want to use the Adobe Media Encoder. You still have this option to go with. So, custom QuickTime. All right, y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.